All right, guys, I'm going to do a uh, three-year update on the CQ Quartz ceramic coating uh, that's by CarPro. So it's been on the car three years. Um, I have used their reset soap and their reload, um, I guess you call it maintenance spray. I would say it's held up way better than expected. Um, they say it's about a three-year uh, coating on it. Um, but it still sheds water and, you know, makes the car easy to wash. Um, still beads water very easily. The car hasn't been washed in a month, if not over that. Um, so it's very dirty right now. I'm actually going to do a cleaning on it. You can see how dirty it is. Um, but anyway, yeah, repels water great still. Um, I'll, I'll cut out you know, to the, another video after I'm done washing it. Um, we still have some paint chips, I would say scratching. I mean, I guess the minor scratches didn't show up, but you can see here something, shopping cart or something hit that. So overall, I would say the coating has held up very well. So I'm gonna do a wash and I'll show you the watershed after just a wash with the reset. All right, so just picked up the hose, just spraying it down. You can see, again, this is not before any soap or anything like that. You can see how the water still just sheds off of it. You go back to my original video of, you know, just putting it on the car, very similar performance. And this is just spraying it, it's not doing the water sheeting like if I were to take this nozzle off. So, again, you definitely tell the coating's still on the car and performing well. So let me throw some soap on here and I'll come back after it's washed. All right, so we'll go ahead and give the car a sheet dry, as they call it. You're just pouring lots of water on there so that it sheets off in big clumps so that when you go to blow it, I use a leaf blower after I'm done with this. You literally do not have to use a rag to dry it. So you can see there, there's like next to no water droplets on the car. And this was just after using the reset. So I just put literally a cap full in the bucket. And like I said, we're going on three years. People say that they're you know their stuff is expensive but that's the reset that's how much i've used in that big bottle so uh definitely worth the money i think if you add up all the costs between the ceramic coating um the bottles of reload which i bought a kit um i bought the waterless wash too and um pretty much all the care pro or car pro products I think it's maybe $150, $175 when you minus the coupons and add in the shipping and all that, but I mean, that's like not even 10 car washes at our local car wash. So you definitely see there, like I said, how the product is still holding up. Um, so what I do now is I take my leaf blower and blow the rest of the water droplets off and I'm done. So I'll show you the uh, shine after that as uh, the final part. Thanks. Alrighty. So we just uh, blow dried the car. Definitely make sure you have hearing protection. So again, guys, uh, you can go back to my original videos. Um, this is the CQ Quartz, just the regular. Man, I think it was, I bought a kit from uh, Car Geek for $100. It came with the Iron X, um, the ceramic coating itself, and a bottle of Reload. I purchased this separately. And it was $100, and they had a $20 off coupon and free shipping. Uh, I purchased this bottle of Reset, which again, that's all I used in three years. This uh, waterless wash and quick detailer. Um, and I made blue juice. So basically it's, uh, I forget the recipe, but it's some of this, some reload, and then distilled water. Uh, makes 32 ounces. This is the, you can see it separating in there because that's the reload going to the top. You just mix it up before you use it. So I use that to pretty much wash the car the majority of the time, unless we went on a road trip or, you know, went 
uh, down a dirt road where there's lots of dirt. Uh, I would literally use that to wash the car. Uh, you just spray that on and literally wipe it off with a cloth and then buff it um, with another microfiber. So this is the car after um, the blow dry. Not No rags whatsoever on this. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because it makes the car washing process much easier, right? You don't have to keep going back and drying it. So um, again, no wax has ever been on this car. This is literally just the ceramic coating that is three years old. I mean, I, I've, I've never had a car shine like this. I kind of cheated though. So this was a brand new car. The only thing I had to do is clay bar it. Uh, there was no paint correction, if you will. There was no swirls in the paint. Um, so I just clay barred it, put on two coats of the uh, CQ quartz, and um, I would say maintenance washes, if you will, uh, which would be, like I said, just the uh, quick de detailer wash and um, a rub down. Uh, reasons I would recommend ceramic coating. So this is a lease car. This will probably be going back to the dealer or being sold by the end of this year in a couple months. Um, and then I will definitely put CQ quartz on the next one because uh, it's, it's cheating when it comes to car washing. It's literally, I can wash this car in 10 minutes. And I think I posted a video on that. If not, I'll go back and look at my videos. Uh, but yeah, so it's cheating when it comes to car washing because it's so easy to get the car clean in very quick time. And you, like I said, three years, I've never had to do any reapplication of the uh, ceramic coating or buffing and polishing with wax. So it is literally uh, an awesome product to put on the car. So um, if you wash your car a lot or if you want your car clean, um, I would definitely recommend a ceramic coating. It is definitely worth the price, even if you have it need to have it done professionally. Um, but this was very easy to apply. Like I said, um, you literally just follow directions on other YouTube videos and it came out uh, marvelous. Actually, let's go back uh, to that area. If you look back in the first video, this is the only spot on the car I messed up and I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but that's where I didn't buff off some of the coating. It is still there. <laughs> so uh, it goes to show you how how strong this coating is. Uh, I would At this point, I would definitely not recode it um, even though we're at that three year mark that they said at last i would definitely not uh, do anything because i don't think the coating has failed in any spot of the car so two coats of cq quartz i'm gonna stitch all these videos together hope they help you out uh you know if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below thanks guys